Okay, you guys, so the episode begins with um, Jessica Dimes' gender reveal slash um, baby shower. Um, at this point, she's let, you know, everybody know that she is with child. Um, and they're actually having it, like, at this, you know, indoor basketball court and everything, you know, hence the fact that Sean is um, a basketball player. So he's out there on the court, you know, um, playing with Ty, you know, Mimi's girlfriend, um, Jock and Mama D or whatever. They got cheerleaders and everything, like the whole set up was you know really cute um we have Mimi and Tokyo sitting on the bleachers and everything and then Melissa she shows up so as soon as Melissa walks in Ty's like oh <clears throat> let me go over here and make sure ain't no bullshit going on or whatever but you know Melissa and Mimi they're being cordial to one another they speak and you know Melissa hugs Tokyo and everything and you know she's like oh you know where's Carly and Tokyo is like, oh, who's that or whatever? Because, you know, Tokyo was still upset with Carly after what happened in last week's episode where she felt like that um, Carly had ambushed Sierra, you know, with them two girls and everything. And so um, she's saying in her confessional how she's really starting to dislike Carly and everything, this, that, and the third. And I'm going to talk more about my opinion on that whole situation a little later on. But, um, you know, Sierra, she shows up. And um, she do kind of feel like Carly kind of set her up low key and everything, and you know, um, you know, so, you know, she, like she feels like Carly kind of set her up to be embarrassed or whatever this, that, and the third. And she did. She tells Mimi in Tokyo that she did go over to BK's house right after that, and she just kind of feels stuck. Like she knows that he's full of shit, but at the same time, she just, you know, she just don't know or whatever. And Tokyo, she's getting irritated because she's like, "Girl, you shouldn't make excuses for him, and you know he on that fuck shit or whatever." You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Sierra, she's like, you know, I just don't want to look stupid again or whatever. I'm like, well, girl, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, she's like, you know, I just got out of this situation with Shooter and everything, this, that, and the third. And Shooter, he's also on the court as well. And, you know, she's saying how she does want to have a conversation with him, you know, because she didn't like the way um their last conversation ended. I was just like couldn't be me but you know whatever but you know but she says that um dimes uh gender reveal um situation is not the right time to be trying to have a conversation with him or whatever so she's just gonna wait so then jessica she finally shows up and everything and you know um Sean ends up well she shows up with her mom and then Sean also had another surprise for her and you know he um ends up bringing her dad out and everything and she talks about how you know her dad has always been like her biggest supporter this dad and the third and it was just really cute a nice thing to see and you know she had she had a girl um, we found out that she had a girl, and like I think I told you guys before, I think she already had the baby already. So once again, um, Jessica, congratulations to you. Um, so moving on, we have Carly Red and Sean, um, Sean Garrett. <laughs> They're at the bowling alley, and um, she's you know doing this whole double date thing with Spice, but she doesn't know who Spice's date is going to be. So Spice shows up or whatever, and she shows up with Tobias. And, you know, Carly, she's looking like, I know this ain't, you know, Tokyo's Tobias or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So Spice is introducing them or whatever. And Carly like, oh, hey, you know. And, you know, Spice is like, you know, why are y'all energy weird or whatever? And um, Carly is like, uh, I know. Tobias, I've been known Tobias or whatever. You know, uh, last time I saw him, him and Tokyo were seeing each other and everything. And, you know, Carly is like, so what's going on with y'all or whatever? Like, you know, like, uh, what's good? Because obviously I done missed out on some shit. And Tobias was like, you know, I mean, we just separated right now. You know, we just, we separated right now. I still love her and everything, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I am free to do what I want and everything. So, um... Carly is like, well, listen, me and Tokyo, we not on the best of terms right now either. You know what I'm saying? And um, she explains to them how she had that uh, friendship vention or whatever she called it for Sierra or whatever to um, let it be known that BK fucking around on her and everything. And she brought two girls to, you know, help prove her case or whatever. And, you know, uh, Sean, he's getting irritated because he's like, you know, I thought I told you to stay out of people's business and stuff like that. And it's like, Sean... <laughs> We seven seasons into this show. Seven seasons in. You, you, you. 
you should already know how Cardi is. I mean, ain't nothing changed. We seven seasons in. I don't know why you acting surprised or acting like uh, you just so perplexed as to why she keep on jumping in people's business. This is what she does. This is what she gets paid for. This is in her job description, okay? You know what I'm saying? And you or nobody else is going to stop that. But anyway, so, you know... Um, they start going back and forth or whatever. And he's like, listen, BK, my friend, and he not here to defend himself or whatever, this, then, the third. And it's like, yeah, that's true. But you know your friend is full of shit too, Sean. Like, you know, let's be for real. But, I mean, I understand, you know, you taking up for your friend and everything, whatever, whatever. Especially because of the fact that he's not there to defend himself. And, you know, Carly is like, okay, is Sierra not here to defend herself? You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, um... Sean, he's getting irritated, you know, and he's, like, over it. He's like, you know, I'm over you. We done and everything. And, you know, he leaves out or whatever. He ends up leaving his shoes, though. So, she, um, Carly, she sees his shoes and everything, and she decides to run off with them or whatever. So, I guess she could do whatever she planned on doing with them. And, you know, uh, Sean tries to chase after her and everything. And just, just crazy. Okay. So then we have the scene that I know everybody has been talking about. Um, this whole situation with Tommy. So we have um, Rashida, Mimi, Estelita, Erica, Spice, Carly, and Tommy. Um, Rashida is actually the one who brought this whole sit down together and everything because, um, you know, she pretty much wants to get the, she, she wants to get the girls together so they could go out to Houston, Texas because, you know, she wants to, um, have her grand opening her grand opening for her new press store. And she did talk about it last week and everything, but I didn't talk about Kirk and Rashida last week because I didn't care. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, she wants to, um. She wants to bring them all down there for her grand opening and everything. And Erica is like, you know, me too or whatever. You know, I'm new to the group or whatever. And, you know, um, Rashida is like, yeah, you too, bitch, and everything. And so um, as Rashida is talking or whatever, um, Tommy sees some liquor on the table or whatever. And she's asking Rashida, you know, what's this or whatever. And Rashida is like, oh, girl, that's, you know, Chardonnay. So, you know, um, Tommy, she grabs it or whatever. And mind you, Tommy has a skirt on. And you guys know Erica still has, like, this crush on Tommy. So as Tommy is, you know, reaching over trying to get the bottle, Erica trying to look all up under her skirt and everything. And I'm just like, okay, Erica, like... <laughs> perverted much you know what i'm saying like you know but anyway so rashida she tells them you know i know that it's kind of been some tension you know amongst the group and everything and you know um i want to go to a ranch while we down there or whatever so you know we could do something different and ease our minds and come together as one come together as the woman of atlanta you know all that good stuff <laughs> but Rashida does make it known that she did invite Sean Garrett, um, BK, and, you know, the other guys or whatever. And so Tommy, she's like, oh, my Sean or whatever, you know, trying to get under Carly's skin and everything. So Carly, she trying to play it off. And she's like, oh, he your Sean now or whatever. And um, Tommy is like... <laughs> He's always been my Sean and everything. And Carly is like, listen, girl, if you want him, you can have him. I'm not about to be sitting up here fighting with you over another nigga, okay? So anyways, um, Carly starts to tell them about, you know, the double date that she had with um, Spice and um, that she had with Sean. And then how, you know, Tobias and um, Spice came in together and everything. And she knew nothing about it or whatever. And they like, wait a minute. Tokyo's um, to um Tobias and everything? And um, she's like, yeah. But, you know, the point that I'm trying to get to is, is that Sean, you know, broke up with me or whatever. Because of the Sierra and BK situation and everything. So, you know, um... Rashida says, well, listen, I just hope that we can air everything out while we're in Houston so we don't bring any issues back to Atlanta or whatever. And so, mind you, before Tommy had even showed up, Spice was telling the girls about, you know, um, her having to edit their video um, by herself and everything and how, you know, Tommy was talking about, you know, her pig and how her pig was sick or whatever, this, that, and the third. So, 
Spice makes this remark. She's like, you know, as long as you don't buy um a ticket for the pig or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And Tommy, she's like, you know, you're self, you selfish or whatever. And at this point, you could definitely tell that Tommy is like lit okay she's like you know you're selfish or whatever like spice you really out of line like you know pigs need love too and everything this that and the third and spice she's trying to have this serious conversation with tommy and i'm just like you can't have a serious conversation with somebody who's fucked up like this i don't even know why you attempted to try to have a conversation with her you know what i'm saying but she's trying to tell Tommy that she wants her to take the music seriously and everything. And then, you know, how um, she wants to do, like, this um, video release for their video. And, you know, Tommy, she starts doing, you know, uh, Spice's Jamaican accent or whatever. And then, out of nowhere, the producers, they want her to talk about Scrap. And I'm just like, what? You know what I'm saying? I know, obviously, you know, producers of these shows and everything, they do kind of, um, they create situations. They, um, tell the girls kind of what they, what they want them to talk about this, that, and the third. But I just didn't understand why at this moment, why does she need to talk about Scrap? I just, I. Why does she need to talk about Scrap? You know what I'm saying? But anyways, so that sets Tommy off. She like, fuck him or whatever, this, that, and the third. And then next thing you know, she starts going off on somebody from um the Glam Squad or whatever. And how um somebody from the Glam Squad was calling somebody. Um, I don't know if she was talking about somebody in the cast or whatever. But they was calling that person um her BFF. I mean, their BFF and everything. And, you know, I mean, she was just going off. And the producers are trying to remind Tommy that they're rolling. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what are you doing? Like, we're rolling right now. And so, um, Carly, she's trying to get, she's trying to get Tommy to stop and to calm down or whatever. And Tommy, she talked about going to jail and everything. And they like, no, we don't want you to go to jail or whatever, this, that, and the third. And so they try to, um, calm the situation down. And, um... Rashida, she's just like, listen, you know, um, going to Texas with y'all crazy bitches, we just gonna have to pray or whatever, you know, let's make a toast or whatever, this, that, and the third. And so then, um, Tommy has said, you know, um, it cheers to the pig and everything, and then Spice is like, nah, fuck that pig or whatever, this, that, and the third. And that's when Tommy just started going off again, you know, um, I guess she was about ready to get into it with Spice because she felt like Spice was trying her. And they had to put um, something up on the screen and was pretty much letting us know that she had, that, you know, Tommy had to be escorted out and everything because, um, you know, she got, you know, volatile. And, you know, when they was trying to escort her out, she tried to return to confront Spice and everything. The next thing you know, she attacked the producer and um security and um they only caught audio footage of that and everything and i'm like damn it mona i wanted to see the shit <laughs> and i know that's wrong y'all i shouldn't even be thinking like that but i i needed the visual okay i'm just saying y'all don't be mad at me for that but listen here's a how i feel about the situation I feel like, I feel like, you know, it gets to a certain point where, you know, and I know people have their soft spot for Tommy and everything. I get that. But it comes to a point where Tommy has to take accountability for her actions. You know what I'm saying? She a grown ass woman. I don't know if she like in her late 20s, early 30s or whatever, but she's a grown ass woman. At some point, she has to start taking accountability for her actions and how she reacts to situations. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's just... And then I, I saw people making comments about how they keep on, you know, feeding her alcohol, whatever, this, that, and third. And it's like, Tommy be showing up to the motherfucking set drunk sometimes. And then still be drinking. So, like, nobody's forcing her to drink anything. You feel what I'm saying? Now, uh, granted, yes, maybe they shouldn't have alcohol around her knowing that... um. She can't help herself or whatever, but 
I still feel like that's only going to work but for so much because if like, you know, her and the girls are at a restaurant or something, um, and even if they don't order alcohol, she could still order alcohol if she wants to. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of like, like I said, people got to start holding Tommy a little bit more um, accountable for her actions and everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, I will say this, too. I do feel like... Um, I do feel like these shows, they definitely try to create situations because they want um, certain reactions. They, um, you know, they want the drama or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They want the drama and everything. And then when somebody bring the drama, it's like, oh, you, you out of control or whatever. Y'all been knew Tommy had this drinking issue. Y'all should have been, you know, stopped filming with her or whatever and um, try to get her. So, I mean. You can't make nobody get help, especially if they don't see an issue. And Tommy clearly doesn't see that she has an issue when it comes to her drinking or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Even, you know, with the fact that she got to wear an alcohol monitor now. But, I mean, I feel like they should have been like, they should have, at least last season, should have been like, you know what? Until you get help, you know, we're going to stop filming with you. Because, you know, we can't keep on doing this and everything. And that's kind of like what people was talking about with Jocelyn. How, you know, um, the producers put her in provoking situations or whatever. And then get mad when she turned the fuck up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all create these monsters and then get mad at the outcome. You feel what I'm saying? So, I hold... um mona and them accountable too but like i said we gotta put accountability accountability on tommy as well i feel like a lot of people are enabling her and um her actions and everything and she got to be held accountable too because it's her life and she's the one who has control of her life because can't nobody, you know, even though like i said you on this show and everything you get put in provoking situations or whatever you are old enough to make the decision to be like, you know what, I'm not about to be a part of this foolishness. I'm not, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I hope you guys understand, you know, where I'm coming from with this situation on both sides of the spectrum or whatever. Um, I'm sorry I was on this for kind of long. Um, but like I said, I just wanted you guys to understand, you know, where I was coming from with the situation. So after all that happened, we move on to like the next scene, which is with BK um sean garrett and um jock and they're like at some restaurant or whatever and um bk tells them how he's been having issues with sierra how sierra showed up at his spot and everything and you know how carly red had this whole intervention with um joy and um the amber girl and i kept on looking at that amber girl and i was like she looked like she done been around before, and she has. That's the girl that um was messing around with um that guy. I don't even remember the guy's name, but I, I'm pretty sure you guys at this point know who I'm talking about. And then Jock ended up um starting to mess with her. I was like, oh, okay, this is the same Amber. But anyway, so um Jock is asking, you know, because, you know, BK was explaining the situation with Amber, how, you know, she was in town or whatever, and she needed some advice, so I told her to come through, like, you know, that's my homie and everything or whatever, and Jock is like, yeah, but you smashed her, though, and BK is like, no, nah, I ain't smashed her or whatever, this damn third, you know, not this time and everything, and Jock had the same thought I had, nigga, you lying, <laughs> okay, but anyways, so, um, Sean, he's like, well, what about Joy? You know what I'm saying? And um, BK is like, I mean, what about her or whatever? And, you know, Sean is like, listen, I'm not going to lie. You have been kind of wild lately, like for real. You know what I'm saying? And Sean is like, listen, I broke up with Carly because of you. You know what I'm saying? You know I had your back and everything or whatever. You know, because he starts going into the double date that he had with her or whatever. And how... You know, she was being messy and everything. And, you know, um, I guess they was asking Jock why he didn't say nothing about Carly being messy or whatever. And Jock is like, listen, Carly is a beautiful woman. I ain't going to stop her shine or whatever. And um, just because it didn't work out for me, that doesn't mean it wouldn't have worked out for you and everything. But I'm really trying to understand how is it Carly's fault that you, um, BK, keep on getting caught um, slinging that penis? <laughs> I was like, okay, 
junk. You know what I'm saying? I wish he would have kind of said that to BK because, you know, he said it in the confessional. But, I mean, shit, Jock was 100% correct. Like, really, how is it Carly's fault that you sitting up here um, in every bitch's coochie? Anyways, moving right along. So then we have Carly, and she's pulling up on Tokyo and Sierra at the glam shop and everything because she's trying to make up with them. So, you know, um, they start talking, and, you know, Sierra's like, girl, you should have came to my house or whatever and had this conversation with me, not bring these two bitches here. Them bitches is not my friends. And, you know, Carly is like, listen, I feel like if I didn't have them with me, you wouldn't have believed me. And I I agree with Carly on that. Because, you know, Sierra was acting so dense and, duh, where's the ball last week? You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand, you know, why Carly did bring them. But I do feel, but I do understand, too, that Carly could have, like, I don't know, maybe Carly could have, like, told the girls to, like, send her the receipts to her phone and everything. And then Carly could have brought the receipts to Sierra's house, you know, did something like that or whatever. But, um... Yeah, you know, like like I said last week, this is Carly's job. This is what she do. She brings the mess or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't really feel like Carly was trying to be malicious or whatever in this situation because I really do think that she really cares for Sierra and everything, but she could have went about it in a better way. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, <laughs> this show been on for seven seasons. Carly been on this show since season one. Y'all should already know how this goes with her at this point. But anyway, so Carly starts to tell them about the whole double date situation and how Tobias showed up with um Spice and she knew nothing about it. And so Tokyo, she's getting irritated and she's like, well, why didn't you call me or whatever? And Carly is like, I did call you. You didn't answer your phone. And Tokyo is like, man, you ain't call me. You ain't call me or whatever. Like, here you go with this ambush shit and everything. And, you know, Tokyo, she's like, you know, Tobias has been hitting her phone every day, begging to be back with her. But yet, he's sitting up here messing around with Spice and everything, this, that, and third. So Tokyo, she leaves because she's over it and everything. And it's like, y'all know I like Tokyo, but I felt like her getting mad at Carly or whatever, I felt like that was kind of fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, she trying to help you out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, listen, Carly, you better stop help helping these girls out. Because every time you try to help them out or whatever, every time you try to help them out and then the fact that this is your job, they get pissed off at you. So you need to stop telling these girls and just um, let them find out on their own what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And then also, too, it's kind of like, uh, Sierra, you saw, um, Tobias at, um, what was it? Jock's, um, grand opening and everything when he was flirting with Spice then. And you didn't say nothing to Tokyo about it. And that happened before, you know, Carly Red um, saw him on the double date. Child. <laughs> I just cannot. But I was kind of upset with Tokyo a little bit that she got mad at Carly like that. You know what I'm saying? And um, Sierra, she admits that Tokyo can be kind of sensitive and everything. But, you know, Carly, you got to find a better delivery in how you present shit to people and everything. You know, and Sierra is like, listen, I know you have a heart and I know your intentions were good. And I know you want to see me um, win and everything. You know, and I did talk to BK or whatever and listen. I don't believe him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he tried to, you know, be all Rico Suave on me and everything. But I didn't, you know, believe him. So, you know, I cut him off or whatever. I feel like she gave him some ass or whatever before she decided to, you know, cut him off. But, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, um, Sierra is aware and not looking so dumb this week like she was looking last week. You know what I'm saying? So, um, although... I did hear her and BK are still together or whatever. I'm not sure how true that is, but whatever. So, anyways, um, Carly, she invites, you know, Sierra to Houston or whatever, but she informs her that BK and Sean are going to be there as well. You know what I'm saying? And then she lets Sierra know that her and Sean did break up and everything because of their situation. So, then we have uh, Just Brittany and... Um, Tierra, you know, Scraps Baby Mama. Um, 
just Brittany, you know, she's uh, preparing herself because she's going to Houston as well. And um, Kirk hired her to um, perform at Rashida's after party, you know, after the grand opening and everything. So, you know, she's trying to find outfits and stuff like that. And so Sierra, she comes and everything and, you know... Um, She wants Tierra to come to Houston or whatever. And so, um, Tierra is saying how she likes Kirk and Rashida and everything, but she's also friends with Jasmine. And she's telling just Brittany how, you know, she took her to Jock's grand opening and it was like open season on her ass because everybody was, you know, jumping on her and everything. You know what I'm saying? And just Brittany is like, well, girl, you can't be, you know, just popping up on people like that and expecting a good outcome. And, you know, when Rashida is ready to talk, she'll, you know, talk and everything, this, that, and third, whatever, whatever. And Sierra, she, I, I guess, is trying to so-called redeem herself because she wants to help Jasmine um, mend her relationship with Rashida. And I'm just like, they ain't never had a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, she slept with that lady her, um, husband or whatever. A kid came out of it. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said before, Rashida does, you know, need to hold Kirk a little bit more accountable than she's sitting up here holding Jasmine. But, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, um, Tierra, she just knows that Rashida is going to be there by herself without, you know, her girls to be there to back her up. I said, so you really going to sit up here and try to bring Jasmine again to have open season happen on her again? Like, Tierra, you're a messy-ass bitch. Like, seriously, you come back on this show and you is just messy as fuck. Girl, I was just looking at her like, really? Like, if I was Jasmine, you wouldn't be my motherfucking friend. You keep on putting me in the lion's fucking den with these bitches or whatever, knowing that, the, you know, they, um, this girl's friend or whatever, this, that, and the third. And it's just like, this pop-up shit, y'all. And even just Brittany is like, girl, you know, you sitting up here trying to be on some messy shit. I'm trying to be on some business shit. You can't be fucking my stuff up with this drama. You know what I mean? So anyways, we have the Houston trip. Um... Sierra, I think it's Sierra, Mimi, um, Mimi's girlfriend, Ty, Estelita, and Spice. They're all, like, on this bus or whatever. And, um, Sierra's saying how she invited Tokyo to Houston and everything. And Spice is like, oh, wow, whatever. I'm like, well, damn, Spice, you ain't meet her yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, what, what is that about? You know what I mean? And Sierra's like, oh, you don't like her or whatever, as if she don't know what the hell going on. And Spice is like, I mean, I don't know her or whatever, but, you know, Spice is like, you know, I'm dating, you know, I'm talking to her ex and everything, and I just feel like shit is going to be weird or whatever. And then um, Spice is saying how she had to cancel the video release party for her and Tommy because Tommy been MIA. They start to talk about Tommy's behavior. Spice is like, I want to get to the root of the problem because I want Tommy to win. Um, and then they they get greeted um, by Stephanie um, Stephanie Gale. You guys know um, Stephanie Gale is one of the executive producers of the show and everything. So they done sent Stephanie on in to um, talk to the cast um about the situation with Tommy pretty much um they're not going to be filming with Tommy right now or whatever this that and the third you know Jock he's like you know did she try to hurt herself or whatever you know what I'm saying and Stephanie she's like well you know she's just been breaking the rules you know what I'm saying I'm not going to really go into detail about what happened whatever this that and the third but you know um Although we all are family and everything, this still is a business or whatever. So, um, as of right now, she's not allowed um, on this on any of our sets or whatever. So then Stephanie, she leaves and everything. And Mimi has talked about, you know, Mimi starts to talk about how the last couple of times she done seen Tommy. Tommy, you know, them poured like some Hennessy in the damn Chardonnay, um, you know, glass or whatever. And, you know, Estelita... She was saying, yeah, you know, um, when we was at Rashida's thing, you know, she kept on saying something about jail or whatever, this, that, and the third. And, you know, Jock is like, but do you think it's something else besides the alcohol and everything, this, that, and the third? Mimi is like, I think the alcohol intensifies whatever she's going through. And, you know, um, 
Jock is like, because we didn't had other people go crazy on this show and it ain't get to this point and everything. And that's where, you know, it pretty much leaves off. We'll get the continuation of the Houston trip next week, you guys. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys come back and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, y'all.